One of the benefits of the Viking wall systems is it can be pinned both vertically as well as set back. To pin the wall, to pin the wall vertically, you will use the same pin, insert it into the wall block, position the pin, push your block forward to set it. Now you have achieved a vertical faced wall. One of the benefits of the Cambridge Viking wall systems is that it can be pinned in both a vertical position as well as a setback. To pin it in the vertical position, use your Cambridge pins, insert them into the center holes. They will position down into the channel of the block below. Push your block forward, and now you have achieved a vertical wall system. Yeah. You need another hand? As you're installing your block, make sure your block is on bond. As you're installing your wall system, make sure you're on bond. Once you've got the unit's position, go through, insert your pins. You may need to move the wall system a little bit for the pin to find the channel. Once they've down in the channel, again, push the units forward to set them in. Continue backfilling or building your wall. This wall system it is with this wall system it is important to maintain the proper running bond this is very easily achieved the Viking wall system has an alignment tool on the top of the block which denotes the center of the block align this with your bond line below and you will achieve a proper running bond all right go for it when installing the wall system it is very important to maintain the running bond the Viking wall system has an alignment device built into the top of the stone. This alignment device will allow you to align it with the joint of the two stones below, ensuring proper installation and maintaining your running bond throughout the wall. It's a technical question, but it really is. When installing your vertical corner, apply concrete adhesive on the corner below as well as the adjacent piece. Set your corner unit vertical, measure your adjustment stone, cut your adjustment stone, apply concrete adhesive, set your adjustment stone in place, and you're ready to complete the next course. To complete our course, we're going to install the corner and the adjustment stone in a vertical fashion. To install the corner, again, you'll apply your concrete adhesive on the corner below as well as the adjacent stone. Set your corner vertically. Check for your alignment. Again with your concrete adhesive. Install your adjustment stone. Check for your alignment and you've completed your course. With the Viking wall systems, you will never cut the corner. Install your alternating corners as such and cut your adjustment stone to complete your wall run. With the Viking wall systems, it is essential that you do not cut the corner unit. Place your corner units and cut your adjustment stone, which is the... With the Viking wall system, it is essential that you do not cut the corner units. Install your corner units, make your cuts on the adjustment stone, next to your corner units. Once again, it is important that you don't cut the corner units.